hi guys welcome again in this video i will give a demo on request validation for our api in api gateway we will see how we can validate the request parameters headers and body of our api at the api gateway level so that the request is validated before reaching the backend service so without any further delay let's get on to the demo So let us go to API Gateway service. I have already this created this API. Let us go to this. I have uh, another video in this uh, playlist where I have shown how to create uh, APIs in API Gateway. You can go through that video. I will provide a link here. So we have this API insert user with post method go to method request settings edit in the method request settings you can see there is a setting request validator so in this uh, request validator setting we have uh, several options like we can validate the body if you want to only validate the body you can select this then we have validate body query string parameters and headers then we can also just validate the query string parameters and headers so let us uh, select validate body querying string parameters and headers we will see this one by one so first we will see we will start with request body so request body here uh, it says no models found so what is a model a model defines the data structure of the payload so whatever request body we will pass in our api uh, through the model we can validate uh, the request body suppose suppose our request body is like this in our api we want to pass the data in our request body in this uh, form in the, our api we want to pass a customer id name email id and mobile number so what is a model a model for this data allows us to validate the request payload so using the model we can validate this request payload we can validate the fields of the request payload for example customer id should be a number and name should be a string email id should be in the email format and mobile number should be 10 digits long containing only numbers so using the model we can validate this input so how we can do that let us see so cancel this and here in this list we have this models so we will define our own model to validate uh, the body of our api request so click on create model give some name like custom model content type will be application json description is optional we can give it like this is my custom model and in the model schema model schema is a json uh, is in will be in json format and it will be like this so the type type is object and properties in the properties we will give uh, the fields that we will be passing in our uh, body so first is customer id type is number then mobile number type is a string and in the pattern we can specify the pattern this regex where we have specified that it should be only uh, it should have uh, numbers from 0 to 9 and the length should be 10 and in the name field name is of type string email id is of type string and format should be email and we can also specify what correct what uh, what parameters are required using this required field so we are telling that customer id mobile number name and email id all the fields are required in our api 
so create this model and then go to resources api method request edit in the request validator select validate body request query string parameters and headers we can also just select validate body if you just want to validate the bodies so we are selecting this because in the demo i will show validation of query string parameters and request headers as well so select request body and add model application json from here select your model that you just created custom model save deploy the api so we have deployed our api now let us test if this valid validation works fine or not let us now invoke our uh, api in postman and see if validation works fine or not in the body let me copy the required payload and send so we can see uh, this uh, message this is returned by backend lambda so from the backend lambda i have returned uh, the same payload that we had passed so let us now verify our validation here so in the customer id we had given that this should be a number so let me pass a string here in the form of a string so we got the uh, error invalid request body let us now test uh, one more thing in the mobile number let me pass uh, a longer uh, number so we got the error invalid request body okay it should be 10 digits similarly uh, if we pass the wrong uh, format in email id suppose i remove this at the rate it will give us error invalid request body so in this way we saw that we can validate uh, our payload of our request uh, through this validation validator you know the api gateway level let us now uh, see the other validations that are available here so go to resources <coughs> sorry method request edit now let us uh, see a validation for query string parameter and request headers so let me add uh, a new query string parameter suppose we want to pass a type and this is a required parameter and similarly let us also add a new header suppose uh, header is authentication and this is required save and then deploy let us now see send the request again we need to wait for time to get it reflected yeah now it says missing required request parameters type and authentication so now we need to pass in the parameters we need to pass the type suppose type is our customer type is business now it says missing required request parameter authentication because we need to add a new header called authentication authentication suppose true so now we got the response back so in this way we can uh, validate our request at the api gateway level using these uh, settings in the method request settings so this was it about the validation now one more thing we can also see uh, the logs of these uh, request parameters in cloudwatch log so in the cloudwatch log we have a log group for our api where we can check the logs of our request so in the logs you can see we get all the logs related to the api uh, request like request headers validation succeeded so 
you can also check uh, the logs here in the CloudWatch logs. I have made a separate video on how to how we can enable logging for API Gateway. I will provide a link here. So this is it about uh, the validation uh, settings in this uh, demo. Let us now understand what are the benefits of uh, request validation at the API Gateway level. So the bus first benefit is security. By validating requests at the gateway, you can enforce security measures before the request reaches the backend service. This helps in preventing common security threats such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting and parameter tampering. Reduce load on backend services. Validating requests at the gateway reduces the load on backend services by filtering out invalid requests before they reach the backend. This can help improve the overall performance and scalability of the system. Centralized control. API gateways provide a centralized point for managing and enforcing request validation rules. This makes it easier to maintain and update validation logic as changes can be applied globally across all APIs managed by the gateway. Improved reliability. By rejecting invalid requests at the gateway, you can prevent them from reaching the backend services and potentially causing errors or failures. This improves the reliability and stability of the system. And at last, logging and monitoring. API Gateway typically provides logging and monitoring capabilities that allows you to track and analyze incoming requests. As we saw in the CloudWatch logs, we get all the uh, request uh, logging. By validating requests at the gateway, you can log and monitor validation failures, which can help in identifying and mitigating potential security threats or issues. So these are the benefits of validating the request at the API gateway level. And uh, this is it in this demo. If you like the demo, please hit the like button and leave your valuable comments in the comment box. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you.